Almost just died. Love to see it. We avoided that one. I just wanted to make it one color, so this is all we use. Are you serious? Read the other side. Where the hell did you get that? I, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna look real good, so. Killing it, man. Killing it. See, the other side's got some drips. All right, guys, what's going on? So we actually have a really special video today. I'm super excited about this one. It's one we talked about doing in the past in front like other vehicles for fun, but never had the opportunity to actually do it because I am not artistically talented at all. My artistic talents is actually building stuff and creating things from scratch. I'm not an artist in any way, shape, or form. Megan is. So this is my good friend, Megan, who's gonna be doing all the artwork on this car. And I'm gonna take you guys with me, watching her do her thing on the car, and showing what she can do on this thing, and actually what she's gonna transform this thing into. You guys have seen this car since when I bought it. Had a white front clip, had a bunch of rusty parts on it. A lot of you guys said it looked like the little Volkswagen that drove around GTA from Sandy Shores, and it did. <laughs> We're changing it from that to a whole different artistic creation. I'm super excited to take you guys along for the ride. Ready to get into it? Yep. Gonna have some fun. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is my 1971 bug, and as you can see, there's not much of a nice car left here. This thing has been hammered, beat, abused, and it's been left outside to rot for a pretty good amount of time. As you can see, there's a lot of corrosion all over the car, a lot of body damage, and a lot of things that need to get fixed. So, seeing us transform this car from the last videos up till now, we've definitely been working on it, doing a lot of different things, but there's a lot of things that need to be fixed still. So, first thing I started on, uh, we did the back half. You can see the tubes that are there, and then I went ahead and sprayed an undercoat underneath the part of the body that got damaged. You can see a bunch of bare metal spots because I did repair the area that was broken and bent and cracked and all the paint cracks. Pulled the stud gun, pulled all the nets out, got all that stuff fixed, put an edge primer over it, and then another coat of paint to kind of blend into the original crappy paint that was on the body. <laughs> Went ahead and put a window seal in to keep the window channel from rotting out. You can see a lot of bare metal spots and rust spots there. And you can see Megan went ahead and blended the door. It left her a little patina spot because I liked it. All right, guys. So I finished the back half for the most part. We're gonna add a couple tubes from motor mounts and a couple other pieces. And we did the wing in the last video. So if you haven't checked that video out, I highly recommend it. Very informative, very, you know, just a cool video in general, just watching it all come together. But see bacon, bacon, cheese, paint the roof, doing a couple touch up pieces, starting our base job for our base for our paint job, our custom paint job we're doing. And then I'm working on some stuff for the roof. So we actually had a recent off road swap meet. That's one of the nice things about living in Southern California is they actually have hot rod swap meets, FD car and import stuff swap meets, and literally an off road swap meet. So Pick this thing up from a buddy, ironically enough, that had it. We're gonna cut this thing up and use it on the bug. So I need a section of this thing. It's a little bit too wide. I'll, I'll put an overlay a photo of what this looks like on the bug. And it, it's pretty much for a truck. This would be like on a Ranger or some sort of F-150. And so I'm gonna section one of the squares out of it. So ironically, these are about eight inches wide. So if I cut four inches out of one, four inches out of the other, slip it together, we should have one less square in this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out, cut these really weird tabs off, and then I'll move it to the center again, weld it all back together, and then make mounts for it on the roof of the car. So see the car is all one color now. Um, uh, Megan actually painted the front so it's all matching and then gave us a base color so it's all a consistent finish. And then we kind of went on this idea of leaving it kind of ratty steampunk and it'll work with the, the artwork that's going on it and uh, not making it perfect because that's the one thing I'm trying not to do with this car is chase perfection. It's perfectly imperfect as we came up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and section this out, start with the light rack, get this thing mocked up and then we can uh, track down some lights for it. I need to do lights on the front because you'll notice there's no headlights or taillights on this thing. So a lot of that's gonna be addressed in this video. Let's dive into it and get a, get a rack on this thing. Love to see it. We avoided that one.
Show me what you're gonna do. And it has to go in through the side. That's so dumb. All right, guys, so going over the body of this car, the one thing I want to highlight is this car is far from perfect. Absolutely a polar opposite of that at that. See, we actually went ahead and did the clip black, so Megan went ahead and shot that. We used nothing more than just cans of spray paint, so this is not perfect. It's far from it, and you can see all the orange peel and different pieces on it. We just wanted to make it one color, so this is all we used, just some simple paint. There's all sorts of different cans of paint that I found in my chemical cabinet just to get rid of them, just to get clear some space. You know, I got wheelbarrow paint, some vinyl and fabric paint, all sorts of different paints. Throw it on the car, get it all in one color, and just give ourselves a decent base to start off. This is a polar opposite of my galaxy which does still exist it's in the painting process it has been for a while so a lot of you guys have asked about that it's coming up very soon but this car literally the polar opposite that's a show car this is still a show car but in a different way so we're gonna show you guys how instead of spending thousands of dollars on all the right stuff and making your car laser straight it has dents it has low spots it has high spots you can see the door very far from straight the, the roof has a lot of issues the front clip does not fit very well window channel has rust which you can see right here but you can see little things that Megan did where she's actually tying those in. It makes those imperfections actually stand out in a good way, which is cool. So it's something that you can give your car character with, which is really rad. So you can see she's kind of going around and here, what are you doing on this one? Just kind of going on the body line or uh, the door jam? Yeah, same thing that you're saying, kind of just going through all those little imperfections and kind of highlighting them. So this side of the store is pretty mashed up. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so I'm covering it in gold. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Play with it, have fun. Go grab some paint pens, go grab some cans of spray paint, grab a couple of buddies, and just start drawing all over your car. <laughs> see what you can come up with. Send it to me when you're done too. But you guys will see this thing will change a lot from now until it's done. We are nowhere near done either, which is one of my favorite parts, is this is gonna get a lot crazier. Craig was asking me about the differences between the different brushes that I was using because I was going to do a certain stroke on the other side of the car and stopped halfway through it because this isn't the right brush for what I wanted to do. The reason why I chose this brush is just because it was a little bit thicker. We don't have bigger brushes right now. I'm working with very small brushes, so I'm making it, making it work, but... So this brush will kind of do this more of like a feathering action. It's a shading brush. That's not the exact word for it, but it's more or less what this one will do as opposed to a line brush. So there's other brushes where it's just like the thin, tiny little long paint brushes and they'll give you thicker lines like this one. So that's what I'm trying to do over along this part of the car. So behind this, but over here in this little gap. So that's why I was trying to use this guy, but when I do that, it still comes out, but I want it to come out Old like that, not so feathery when you cut up close to it, where it's a lot lighter. Uh, so, so you're talking about the edges? Yeah, I'm just being picky. Hmm, that's a good thing. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. You guys see, it's almost like you're patinaing a car, but with gold. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Kind of feathering in little bits and pieces here and the other thing i want to point out too is after we're done with this car and we get all of the all the graphics and all the sponsors and all of everything's gonna be hand painted by her on this car which is super i'm super happy about i'm super stoked on and after this entire thing's done i'm gonna bring this thing over to reese restorations i'm gonna bury this thing in clear cut and seal it in so we're gonna go from your two dollar paint job all the way well actually probably just shy of what sub hundred bucks for all the paint pens and markers and whatnot i think we spent about a hundred bucks or just shy like 70 bucks for all the paint paint supplies and then probably another 30 on rattle cans so yeah about a hundred bucks we're gonna turn that hundred dollar paint job into a lot Lot more than that when i bury this thing in clear coat it's gonna look like a fully custom professional paint job because she is a pro i'm not <laughs> so it's gonna turn it into a really cool art piece i'm super pumped on it and it's coming out really good so but yeah little tips you can go from paint pens to spray paint to actual little paintbrush and you can see it comes out pretty good
I'm using, these ones are just craft smart, but some people use like Posca paint pens and stuff like that. Um, I've done a bunch of work on a bunch of different surfaces in terms of like surfboards, skateboards, snowboards, other cars, murals, and whatever else. And acrylic is my happy place. Oil mediums sometimes will bleed and get a little funky when you go to put a coat over them, like a clear coat. They're no less beautiful. They have their time and place, but paint pens are fun because you can do just about anything with them. You don't have to be intimidated to use them. I have friends who are beginning art in general and they use them and they're just as happy as I am using them and I've been doing art my whole life. Just having fun kind of playing around and yeah Craig doesn't really know what this is gonna look like in the end. He has a very vague idea but I'm too nervous to talk on camera when a bunch of people are around so yeah I'm excited. I hope you guys like it. getting on the line work on the front of this car. So it's gonna be the first thing you see when you stare at it. So you see the sides are getting getting going, looking pretty damn cool. A uh, little patina action in there, damn, that's pretty neat. <laughs> it's kind of working through the front. Just gonna do most of the body line outlines and then some, some stuff and things. <laughs> stuff and things. Heck yeah. All right guys, got the number mocked up on the door. We are gonna do a number just like we did on the Lincoln, but a different style. So I don't know what you would call this style. It's definitely not like a race car, like a traditional race car. It's a little bit different. Nope, that's the whole point. So it's kind of mocked up after, kind of like Western style, but also like traditional tattooing fonts and stuff like that or anything you'd kind of see off of like old advertisements or more RT take on yeah. numbering and labeling a car. Or I guess really, really old race cars, maybe Italian old race cars. Yeah, but that's kind of where I got a lot of the inspiration from, especially with like the line work and the black and the gold. I'm sure some of you guys know a few race cars that have the same color scheme going yep. on. Yep, yep, yep. A couple uh, of Lotus cars do. But I love the old school lettering way more than I like the big bold stuff. Yeah. Big bold stuff has its time and place, but I think this car deserves some old and timeless yeah i agree yeah. it's very fitting so yeah getting it mocked up i'm gonna start laying it out and uh paint it on i'm so excited it's so much different than just putting a sticker on it has so much more character and meaning to it so let's get into it it's gonna be fun
shop by myself and starting to paint the numbers in. Coat number one. Back now. Yeah. Like, hey yo, what the f is this? You mother You mother <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? Read the other side. Where the hell did you get that? <laughs> Will gave it to me? I'm oh my god, dude. Are you serious right now? It's a boy! So that's what Franklin's riding on the car. <laughs> what the hell? I'm about to blur that out. <laughs> yeah, just to show that. <laughs> I tried to put it in a spot that wasn't. So this is, this is why your this is why your laser table's out six to eight months isn't there? six to eight weeks because you're freaking cutting out dicks on the table and then welding to people's cars. <laughs> what the hell? That's hilarious. <laughs> Man's came in, welded that, <laughs> put my welding put back before I even got here. Yep. Oh my! He's like, get out of the way! No, dude, he there. came in. He was like, dude, I was like, we gotta put it on now. <laughs> oh my god! Sorry, I, like, I, 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 I got a surprise for you in the freezer. Go grab it. What's that? I got a surprise for you in the freezer. Go grab it. What is it? It's a, it's a surprise. Go grab it. I don't want to grab it. I'm scared of alcohol. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what's funny? It's like, I'll sit there with the dimple dies. He's like, dude, you want to throw a car? And I'm like, <laughs> he's like, dude, you should just throw it on. He's like, runs over. He's a stack of them on his wall. <laughs> Where did he get those? His brother drew it out on CAD. He's like, his brother was like telling me, he's like, dude, I spent forever drawing this out. And I was sitting there, I'm like, I'm drawing a fucking dick on SolidWorks. <laughs> it's not our project. Subtle. Huh? It's not our project. Yeah. That's, that's why I told you it's a boy car when you came in. Oh, now it's a real boy car for sure. It's masculine as hell. I try to put it where you can't really see it. Well, yeah, someone's gonna, some old man's gonna crawl under here and look at the suspension and be like, ooh. That was the look at that. <laughs> What in the hell is going on that here, bro? Point. Oh my god. That was exactly <laughs> what we were saying. Like, this is gonna be great. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's great. Nice job. Sick. The rack on it, bro. Damn. Nice. Decent. Dimple dies for the win. <laughs> Franklin wouldn't leave me alone until I let him put dimple dies on my car, so now here we are. <laughs> it looks sick, though. My favorite. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Favorite? Dimple die everything. Dimple die the world. Best tool in the world. <laughs> Oh yeah, now it's gonna fall off. Oh dude, that's baller. Go down a little bit. Yeah. Dude, that's sick. Honestly, not bad. It could probably go a little lower. But we can just adjust that when we weld it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that looks sick. Dude, I might even put a brake in this. Just bolt it and run it? Put a 
How's it going, buddy? Uh, don't do wiring if you want to have a career. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> I think you're doing great. Oh yeah, that looks great. This Did you do that? Nope. Did you do that, Mr. Nope. Krabs? Nope. Yeah, man, that's crazy. This those little cage accents are so sick. I love it. Then we're coming out with a stripe. Uh, Megan's doing the back half. A little checkered dealio. So sick. Love the style. It's coming out super rad. Killing it. Yeah. Frankie's over there drilling into wood. This might be stupid. <laughs> Can't wait till it like, catches and it takes your ankle out. Yeah, it didn't go where I wanted to go. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> called it! So I called I literally called it. I literally called that. Yeah, look at that. It's not even in the same spot as you nope. the hole. Oh. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen too. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I, <laughs> I spread the I'm legs like, a little I'm bit. Do it. Yeah, you're like, yeah, just yeah. shake the ankle a little Damn bit. It. That did not go where I wanted to go. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that negative brain cells you got. All two of them were working real hard there, weren't they? No, one of them was not Damn. Look at that, look at that. Let me just, hey buddy. You got, some you got some red over there, you missed out on it. I missed. What the hell, bro? I missed. It's all right, he won his ankles anyways. Screw it, it's fine. Natural selection, people, we right there. We need ankles. That's it. Yeah, we don't need ankles where we're going, we got wheelchairs. Exactly. We drive cars, we don't need ankles. We don't need feet. We went ahead and got the intake painted up. We're doing a black. Uh, it'll be pretty, pretty rad when uh, Megan does the accents on it. Top covers are going black. Just black accents and then the stainless exhaust. So essentially, black and gold is the theme throughout the entire car. So you'll watch me put, the engine will be mostly black. And when I run the exhaust, the, the tubing on the car will be black for the roll cage. And the exhaust will come out. It'll have black heat shield product wrap on it. And then any parts of the car, or any, and then any parts of the exhaust that are actually wrapping up that you can see will turn gold because it's stainless. So all the Black Widow stuff that's going on the back of this car, when it actually gets some time, run time on it, some heat in it, you're gonna see all the colors come out and it's gonna look so cool. So we have a super rad system that I'm building for this thing and you guys are gonna see it coming up this week. So definitely if you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button. This car is gonna become so badass in the next couple days. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys out of King of the Hammers in 2024 with Alpha Batteries. So if you're not going to that event, you definitely should. You'll see me and all the guys out with this car and a bunch of other buddies. And it's gonna be a ton of fun because we are unveiling the car out there. So a lot of cool stuff coming, but we got a lot of work to do so we're gonna keep jamming. And I'm gonna get to work on the engine pulling some of the other stuff off and finishing my oil change because it's never had one of those. <laughs> uh, hey Craig. What up? I actually don't know where this stuff goes. Well that's ironic because you're the one that yeah. put that uh, Skittles rainbow in here. Yeah. Oh and um, you didn't tape and label any of them yet. No. Either. No, I completely no. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, I got no, one. I got one labeled. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. They're just. Yeah. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and pull the valve covers off. Uh, I'm gonna paint these to match the intake. So I'm just gonna pull the coil packs off. Make sure these stay roughly in order. I'll pull the plugs out anyways, but I'm pretty sure I can get the covers off. And these are gonna be separate tubes. It's actually kind of clean in that there. thing is literally spotless. Wow. <laughs> what? Yeah, man. <laughs> that thing is stupid clean. <laughs> what the hell? Look at that. Yeah, man. <laughs> There's a random hand coming out. Wow. <laughs> Dude, all the rollers are in perfect shape. This motor is like brand new. Oh, wow. I think it is a rebuild one. Right? Well, yeah, it's got the that? reman tags on it right yeah. here. So I noticed the fuel rails got and the intake had these tags. So I think this was a reman motor in like a in the in someone's car, and then it had an LKQ tagged ECU. So what most likely happened with this motor when it was in the Hesperia junkyard, someone had a warrantied engine, put a new engine in a car, and either the car got totaled. I never saw the car, so the car probably either got totaled or someone died and they scrapped it or whatever. Something else happened to the car. So warrantied brand new engine. That's a that's definitely a new engine. Maybe that's why the uh, wiring harness is so screwed up looking. Yeah. Yeah. Get back in there. <laughs> but yeah, that's rad. This thing's in super nice shape. I mean, look at the rollers. Everything's like, I don't know. You guys can comment down below and let me know, but I don't think Honda engines are typically this clean. Like this thing is flawless. I mean, there's nowhere anywhere in this motor. I guess you're a Honda guy now. I guess. I don't know. This one's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and get these prepped and painted up, but you can even look in here. There's no carbon buildup whatsoever. And I don't care what kind of engine you have. If you're not changing your oil or not taking care of it, it's going to corrode. And this one looks perfect. So now we're going to make those match those. All right, getting the livery going and Chris is diving into the wiring. Man, what did you do to my car, bro? I made a huge mess. Look at that. What did you do? What is this? 
But what in the Honda hell is going on here? <laughs> you might as well explain what's going on because it looks like a hell confusing <laughs> to me. Well, honestly, I'm just going to be uh, cutting and splicing and combining all these wires here. So we're going to streamline it, solder, crimp, window, and just kind of make it look a lot more prettier than it was before. A big old bulky harness. Yeah, this thing was really nasty before. Yeah, so. it's, it's gross. It still is gross. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea what this does, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to find out. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I'm working on the valve cover, getting this thing prepped up for paint. It's coming out pretty good. There's a couple of cracks around the front of it. I was noticing it was probably getting pretty hot, so the paint was all cracking, so I'm getting that all sanded. The rightful thing I should do is actually send these out to sandblast and get them powder coated. Do not have enough time for that, so we're just gonna sand them and paint them and shoot them for now. Just enough to match the intake, and this thing is not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be perfectly imperfect, so I can't get too crazy with how everything looks, so I'm gonna get these painted. All right, so going over the wiring on this thing, the one thing that Christian wanted to point out, which is a very good tip, is actually trying to solder this stuff instead of putting 8 million buck connectors right next to each other. I don't know why you would ever do that. Don't why? be that guy. We're going to show you not to be that guy. Don't do that. So you're going over this, and you're going to solder this system. Correct. So as I mentioned before, uh, we're trying to get rid of this. Yeah. It just does not need to be there. It, the stuff's already bridged. What we're going to do is we're combining the like wires, and we're going to stagger it. So you want to stagger your soldering so you don't get a giant clump of a mess of everything all in one location. Yeah. Because if you get everything all in one location, and you want to make it all nice, streamlined, you, it's just going to be this giant clump. Yeah, exactly. So this not only looks better, it looks more professional. No, yeah, it and does. It's gonna last longer in the wrong run because you're not using butt connectors. Yeah, no, that'll be good. And then obviously staggering them keeps everything nice and down. And what I'm trying to do in this, the long run, is to bulletproof your wiring. So yeah. when you are going over those dunes, when you're having and ripping it fun, you don't have to worry about this. Yeah, if the harness wiggles around, it's not gonna have a connector, it just you know, Correct. falls apart. Like you else. said earlier, this thing wasn't starting half the time. No, yeah, you push the button and- Cause I found button. out it wasn't even connected. They used a butt connector on this and it was not even connected. They crimped the plastic, not the not the metal. <laughs> so so that's why it was, in there. <laughs> yeah, it was working only half the time, yeah. or not even. So yeah. I made it so that it's always gonna work all the time. Yeah, perfect, dude. Hell yeah, thank you. This looks awesome. Yeah. Dude, you yeah. Look at it. Yeah. It's, it's like for me. Dude, that's so badass. It looks like a real bug now. Oh my god. Hey, definitely go lower. Bro. I was gonna say we gotta drop it down like two inches. Ooh. Dude, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on those. Those mouths look sweet, bro. Yeah. Look at that. That's so badass. Yeah. Built not bought. Woo! No razors here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh heck yeah, man. This is sweet. That ain't bad, huh? Not bad at all. Not too yeah. bad. Dude, that's freaking pimping. This is rad. So I think we're gonna add, a, we are gonna add the plate on top no matter what. Cause otherwise the whole thing's gonna shimmy back and forth. So we either not, you need to add a plate in the front or a plate in the rear. And I think we're gonna very least do one in the rear, but we might do one in the front. It'd be kind of cool if it did something like that. That'd be kind of neat, but you don't wanna make it look too wild. But either way, I think we're gonna drop the rack down a couple inches, but you can see it lines up with the roof like perfectly. So when we have our new KC highlights on this thing, oh, it's gonna look real good. So killing it, man. Killing it. Killing it. It's gotta finish that now. Yeah. I make bend. All right, let's bolt it on. Try it again. <laughs>
Our new livery for the Baja Bug is officially, well, pretty much wrapped up. We're like, I don't know, what, 90%? 95%. Yeah, we're like a good fair amount. But it's like 1.30 on a Sunday. She leaves for New York in like four hours. We got a lot of work ahead of us, so we're just kind of cutting it off here. Plus, I already know this is a super long video. There's over 200 clips in this video. <laughs> if anyone's ever made a video before, it's a lot of footage, so I'm going to have a fun time editing this. But massive shout out to Megan. She's the reason this car has happened behind us. Her incredible artistic talents have been put to a good example, as you can see on this car. I would never have been able to do anything like this, and I've always wanted to do a car like this, and I thought no better person to do it than Megan. So shout out to you. Thank yeah. you a bunch. I really appreciate it. So this is Pony Boy. A lot of guys probably saw that, so you want to explain the significance of that guy? As some of you guys know, the movie, well, slash the book, actually, better yet, Outsiders. Um, they had the socks and the greasers, and you had Little Pony Boy, was a little outcast and all of it. And yeah, I don't know, this kind of started out as a what Craig calls a piece of shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> and safe to say the greasers were kind of like shit kids and stuff like that but long story short at the end of it they kind of emphasize that pony boy had to stay gold and kind of staying true to what he was and staying true to what he believed in and all that kind of makes him spunky and fun and a good dude and I don't know. It kind of just fit. So. It did fit, yeah. Yeah, so it's Pony Boy. I agree. I love it. You got this little guy down here. We're not going to explain the significance of this yet, but later in the year it's going to come out. And you guys will be very excited about I'm it. I'm proud but, of that one. Yeah, so that's a little, you'll see that come up a lot coming up here in 2024, as well as this. So we did put that in there. So got all the branding. Uh, and you'll see more of the sponsor logos go in. Uh, you'll probably see we started on them. They're not quite done yet. We need to wrap those up. Got some of them on here. You can probably see some of the future ones that are coming on. And uh, there'll be other little odds and ends, but the names, super stoked on that. Cool, kind of like, almost like what, a Western font? Yeah, like Western kind of traditional style. Yeah, yeah. kind of her... fit the whole vibe for yeah. the car. Put a little twist on it, and then Megan went ahead and gave Franklin's little mouse a little pizzazz, some drip action. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we went ahead and... done yet. Show the other side. Yeah, the other side's pretty rad. So you can see the other side's got some drips. And this is just an Etch primer to match the rear of the car. So it kind of has this like old steampunk look, <laughs> you know, all sorts of different little things are written in the car. You know, it's just a lot of fun. It's just fun. You know, you gotta have fun in cars like this. So, and then you can see the stay golden on the back, like we were talking about earlier. So, and there's a number nine on the roof that wraps all the way back, just like the Lincoln, but a totally different style, way cooler style in my opinion. Kind of tapers back that checkered pattern will run from the front to the back all the way down the car and then i like how it becomes wide and then it ends at the motor which is super rad so. it was a lot of trust the process stuff craig had a lot of questions about what i was doing most of the time yeah i just kind of went yeah it's just the process and i'm glad i did i mean look at how cool this car looks this is transformed from before to after is absolutely incredible with this thing so we're not done so nope 
We got a couple more things, like I said, that Megan's gonna wrap up on the art stuff in the car when she gets back from her trip. Uh, I just wanna extend a massive personal thank you for Megan for doing this. This is a ton of work here late, well past where it's almost 1 a.m. We are here, what, 1, 2, 2, 2 or 3 a.m. yesterday? Like ridiculously late. Yeah, for like five plus days straight of just constantly after midnight. I have not gotten home before 2 a.m. once this week in like, yeah, in like seven days at this point. So massive thank you to Megan. Put her heart up, go check her stuff out. I really do appreciate her helping out. And uh, this car's coming out absolutely awesome. So in the next video, you will see us be mounting new parts in this car, getting everything fitted and ready for her when she gets back, finish the graphic on it. And we're gonna bury this thing in some clear coat and get it all nice and shiny. Cause it's going to KOH 2024. So if you guys are out at that event, you'll see us in this car and you will not miss us. Cause this livery that she designed and she put on the car will stick out. You'll be seeing it from anywhere in the desert and it's gonna look absolutely killer. So that being said, I hope you guys went out and to enjoy today's video. Drop a comment down below if you guys wanna see us come out with a t-shirt for this thing. I think it'd be super awesome to put this artwork on something that you guys can grab for yourself, stickers and all that good stuff. Let us know what you guys wanna see down below. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. The bug.